very cold for your Black Friday. If you managed to wake up early, well, one, congratulations. And two, if you went out for those early bird specials, you know just how cold and how hard you had to fight to get those hot deals. You didn't have hot temperatures at all. Very chilly, very breezy. And drastic change from what we experienced for that warm, pleasant Thanksgiving. That crispy, almost bake at 350 degrees Thanksgiving we got yesterday. And temperatures right now still getting those cold temperatures, 35 right now. We're getting close to freezing. It's only that 9 o'clock hour. And you factor in just these little breeze that we have in the winds. It's making those feel like temperatures not fun to be outside at all. High temperatures today, mid 40s for most of us. That's about roughly a 20 degree swing from what we experienced yesterday into today. And I know a lot of people, they love that it's Christmas time. They love the holiday season, but they're not loving these cold temperatures that we're getting. Well, they're going to keep coming for the next couple days. And speaking of cold temperatures and kind of holiday weather, look at all this snowfall that's occurring out in Kansas, out in Nebraska. These areas in pink uh, in purple right here are winter storm advisories. The areas in pink are winter storm warnings. Now, this system is going to be what's moving into our area Saturday, bringing us precipitation. I don't think we have to worry nearly as much snowfall as they've been getting. Some places have been getting between four to six inches of snowfall. Uh, we don't have to worry about that for nearly everyone. It's just going to be rain that's coming our way. Satellite radar, any cloud cover that we had today, that's pushed out of our area, which is going to lead to a lot colder nights. You need those clouds at night because they almost act like a blanket on our atmosphere, on our planet, helping us trap in heat. Well, they're going to be pushing out in the overnight hours. just going to leave our low temperatures to really get into the 20s. And uh, that cloud cover, it's gone. And it'll start to come back tomorrow and because remember that system that's bringing all this snow out to our west it's going to move in our way in places to the north of us kansas city northern missouri iowa they're going to have a good amount of snowfall out of this system for us it looks like we're going to get a cold rain that's going to be coming our ways it's not going to be happening until that evening really that overnight hour on saturday that we're going to start to get some wet and active weather returning expecting a light rain Places south of I-44, yeah, you're definitely getting rain. It's areas that are north of Highway 54, kind of up in here, that may start to get that mix of rainfall that's going to come in. You may see some flurries that may be mixing in. I want to stress that the travel impacts, if anyone's going to be traveling for this Thanksgiving weekend, not going to be too bad. It's going to be very minimal, uh, just a very light rain. You just have to be concerned about some wet road conditions and all of this rain and activity. It's going to be moving out once we get into Sunday morning. Now this is kind of the breakdown of who can see the rain, who can see some light snow. It's really that areas up north that have that chance to see a light snow and it's just going to be a dusting if they see anything at all. We're talking a tenth quarter an inch of snow that's going to be coming our way. Now since most of us are going to be seeing rainfall, this is how much we're going to see. Not a washout, not a whole lot at all. A good estimate is between a tenth to a quarter inch of rainfall. I know a lot of people have been wanting rain. We had a shot earlier this week to get a good amount of rain. Places to the northwest got plenty of rain. Areas in Springfield, not so much. So it's another round Saturday night to get some more rain that's going to be coming in. Then after that, we're going to be drying out and getting back to seasonally average temperatures. Kind of a slight warm up. It's going to be happening on Tuesday and Wednesdays. That will get us back into the 50s. That's kind of average for this time of the year. And then another chance of showers to round out the week on Friday. So definitely a shift. I mean, Thanksgiving and today were a big difference. Almost a 20 degree swing in the temperature. So And now we're talking about snow. Yeah, we're talking about snow that could be coming. All so right. Well, I think some people will enjoy that, putting the Christmas decorations up and just seeing a light flurry, not affecting <laughs> too much else. Just, just a couple flakes coming down. Not a whole lot. Not going to cancel school if kids don't get excited. So. Does that happen anymore since COVID? <laughs> I'm not even sure that's a thing. So we don't have to get their hopes up. Well, 